Hello, everybody. How's it going tonight? This is the live stream where I'm really excited to be with y'all. I have two amazing guests with me tonight. You guys saw the uh, trailer reaction that I did on Bandimation. And, well, uh, I got in touch with both of the creators of that. And they're coming on the stream tonight, which is really cool. And I'm so excited to... to so excited to bring them on. We had a little bit of trouble <laughs> getting the all of the tech worked out, but it worked out fine. We're all doing beautifully now. And uh, man, we're just gonna have a really awesome live stream. So thank you for being here. And uh, let me let me bring them both in. So we have we have Mago Knox and Luis Zavaleta, the creators of Bandimation. And they're just incredible. Let me just bring them on for you. Gentlemen. Hello, hello. I'm going to turn on the voice Hi, chat everybody. so they can hear you. Okay, wonderful. There you go. Thank you so much for being here tonight, guys. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, Hi Alan. Hello, hello. So, Hi, Alan. <laughs> this is so cool. And we it's great when it works, you know. <laughs> uh, so, I, I want to give uh, I want to give the uh, audience just a, a chance to uh, let them know this is this is a Q&A. So I have, of course, I have questions for myself that I, that I have uh, prepared for, for you too. But uh, I also want to make sure that the audience feels comfortable and knows that they can ask questions. And um, also, uh, th there, uh, our guests are mainly Spanish speaking, so I might have to. <laughs> Luis is going to help us translate occasionally if if need be, uh, because my Spanish is terrible, unfortunately. Um, but so uh, know that that's that's going to be done. If if you know what uh, what's being said, if you're bilingual or or Spanish speaking, then of course, if you want to help in the chat and help translate too, that would be wonderful. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead, and uh, I'm I'm gonna pull up a couple questions while I have my my uh, friends here on the stream. Um, I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of questions for you too. But the first one I want to ask you guys is for for both of you. Um, I, let's start with Luis first. Luis, uh, how how did you start in magic? It's a common question. Magicians always get asked. But what was what, how did how did it get started for you? Well, uh, when I was a kid, I think like ten years, maybe. Uh, my grandmother uh, gave me a very special gift, and it was the the first, um, the first magic tricks I had. And now, now I think, thanks for my grandmother, I am a magician. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's very, very special. Oh, that, do you, do you remember what the first, uh, first magic trick you learned from, from your grandmother? Oh, yeah, it, um, I had, um, a trick with a, with a little, um, uh, like a like a mental cube, you put it in, in a little in a little yes. box. Yes. Yeah, that was my, one of my first, and a little drawer box also. And oh, with with the uh, with the quarter or the the full on one with the the big yeah, box. Yeah. The, okay. The, yeah, the drawer box with with a full. Oh, cool! Yeah, that's a that's a cool trick. <laughs> yes. Until now. Wow, that's awesome! And so, what what made you want to go from that to being a professional magician? There's a, you know, I noticed there's like a gap where, you know, um, there's a lot of kids who learn magic, but not necessarily all of them grow up to be magicians. Yeah. It, so, yeah. what made you decide that that was going to be your kind of path? <laughs> Something happened. Um, of course, a uh, few few years later. Um, a cousin came from Alemania, Germany, Germany. Mm. And uh, like 15 years that we didn't talk and I wanted to break the ice with him. Uh, I don't know why I remember a trick with a bill and a pencil uh, because we, we was um, eating in the restaurant and we had all the elements. We had the bill and the and a pen and the ticket. And I say I took the three elements and like 
you know, uh, the, the pen goes through the bill and my cousin was like, oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> and yeah, he told me that in German, if you are DJ or magician, all the girls will be like, <laughs> so <laughs> he lied. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, of course, he told me I want to to learn some magic tricks. And yeah, okay, I go to my old books, and yeah, that that was the new beginning for me. Uh, and then I went to the first magic school here in Peru, oh. and I learned a lot there and then i worked there and then i met knox uh in the magic school so it was a very nice um place to learn yes wow awesome uh, knox i want to ask you about this too um but what was what was your what was your path to magic like where did you get started and how did you decide to make it your job well i i, I started at 18 years old 18, uh, your late starter. Yes. Uh, he taught me my, uh, sorry, with, with a friend. Okay. Uh, yeah, a friend <laughs> teach uh, Knox, a very good yes, friend. One, one, one friend teach me um, a magic trick uh, every day with my brother, uh, my, team, my twin. I have a twin. Eh, um, y luego lo mismo que, que tú conocí el estudio de, de magia yeah and then he he was uh, studying in Twister Magic Studio when I met uh, Knox the magic uh, magic school the first magic school here in Peru yeah. and I want to eh, know about this magic school too what, what is this we don't have this well we have we have one place in the United States. It's called Jeff McBride's Mi Magic and Mystery School, um, and of course, there's Jeff McBride, and then also, um, well, Eugene Berger before he passed away. But uh, I'm kind of curious. That's that's the only magic school I know about, and of course, it's in my own country, so it, I'm more prone to know about it. But what's this magic school in Peru? What 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 do you go there to do? How is it set up? Is it very similar to? Maybe you don't even know about magic and mystery school, so I'm kind of curious. What do you do there? <laughs> how do they teach you how to routine or how to do magic or how to make it a business or what's what's the uh, what is that like? Oh, did we do we lose Luis? Uh, I I started working building gimmicks for for. Uh, George Iglesias, he is the boss. He's the the more oh, I think I think we're having a couple of technical difficulties with Luis and Knox, so um I'm going to uh put that on pause for just a second. And we will we will check back with them in a second. Okay, so we're having a little a little difficulty with the stream. We're trying to get Luis back, um, but uh, until then, I, I would love to have your questions and field your questions, and we can bring those to to Luis and Knox. Thank you again for being here tonight. Let's um, take a look at the chat right here and see what we have. Where's where's the beer? Okay, big hands. Well, uh, could you or would you feature a video on uh, from my channel to get their opinions? Um, if we have time to get to that, I would love to do that. Absolutely. Let's see if they're open to that. Okay. Let's see if I can get them. Well, he's not quite back yet, but that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. I want to ask Knox some questions too, so we'll just pop back down over here. Okay. So Knox, it looks like we we lost uh, we lost Luis there, huh? <laughs> yes. well, well, sorry for my English. It's so bad, but 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 I can try. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I am used to translate because you know. 
I like I like I told you earlier, your 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 English is far better than my Spanish, and so <laughs> like you have nothing to apologize for. Yeah, yes. So, so, uh, so you joined. So I think we left off with uh, you had. Um, oh, there's Luis. Welcome back. Welcome back, Luis. <laughs> Thanks, good. <laughs> He's like Knox is like no man. Like I don't want to like. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Okay, so um, you guys both met at the magic school in Peru, and then how did it how did it come that you that you two decided to work together? <laughs> oh, Lucifer! The poor man, <laughs> Luis can't stay connected. <laughs> So Knox, did you were you already working on on magic products yourself before meeting Luis, or was that something that you started doing after you guys met, or how did, how, how did that kind of come about? Uh, we met in in the Crystal Magic Studio. Mm. Uh, I, I started with a uh, gimmick for for a boss. Okay. Uh, like doing, like creating custom gimmicks for him, or yes, uh, he's a, a, a creator. Okay. I don't know if, if you know uh, George Iglesias. I I don't know the name. I'm gonna show my ignorance. Well, este, he creates uh, foot to go, uh, dollar to credit card, a poker machine, or a lot of magic. Okay. Okay. So that's where you guys met at the at the mystery school now, or the magic school rather. I'm sorry. Yes, then, then I I teach magic in in this place. Oh, so you went from from being a student to being a teacher. Yes, but it's the only for kids. Um. Well, uh, the basic uh, card tricks to adults too. Okay. For for adults, yes. Um. And then there was the store, yes, the store. Excellent. Well, Luis, welcome back. <laughs> Mago was sitting, er, Mago Knox was sitting here going, okay, <laughs> Luis better show up. Lo intenté, lo intenté. Um. So, so while you while you were gone, we were talking with with Knox, and he was telling me about um, about um, his his path to at the at the um, magic school. Now, you guys you guys met there, and were you already were you both already creating products, magic products at that time, or was that something that you guys did after? You, were, did you create like things by yourselves and then decide to work on products together, or? Were you? Uh, is all this after meeting? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, um, a day, Knox told me about an idea with rubber bands because he loved uh, rubber bands, and he told me about uh, an idea with two rubber bands, and uh, he he wanted to make them change, but he told me about flap, and. Yes. You know, every, every, every magician, when you show, uh, I don't know, a color change or something, will say, ah, you have a flap, and I don't like flaps. Actually, I hate flaps because it's the first, um, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind when you want to create something. Uh, I hate flaps. So I wanted to... <laughs> They're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and, and of course you have to think a lot of, about the, the process, about the that that you want. And I wanted to do a little animation. I like, I love animations. Uh, I'm not good with threads, limit, limitations, or something like that. But I mm -hmm. like the um, kind of animation things. I love this this kind of effects. And 
one day playing in my house, something strange happened with the bands, and I looked at them, and he, uh, the bands like um, like little motions, and then <gasps> start started this this trick, and then I showed, of course, to to Knox, and he loved the idea, and then I said, okay, now take it and make it easier <laughs> because <sometimes, laughs> uh, we have it. yeah sometimes we have in our brains uh, different and complicated things and magic is easy you know and i have a, a very nice example if you want alan uh this is a nice example of uh, something easy but but nice you know this thing can you see this uh yes i can oh Good, perfect. Now let me let me talk about this. This is an idea with a um, marker. And it's very, very special. Wait. Uh, look at me. Okay, nice. That's it. Look. Ta -da! Wow, that is the sexiest man I've ever seen in my life. Who is that? <laughs> you uh, oh, 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 wow. I'm flattered. It's a very simple effect because of the mechanism, but one of my favorite effects. I created this uh, in 19, no, sorry, tw uh, yeah, two years ago for my wedding. Oh, wow, you know? okay. I wanted, to, I wanted to make a routine because my wife is also a very talented magician, and I wanted to create a routine with some romantic elements and yeah I, I i wanted to do this thing and make an instant uh, drawing and then meet with her and something special for my wedding and then i love this trick and i uh, put it on penguin magic and it was nice and yes i i have a lot of of tricks there and Knox also had uh, has a some trick with bands. But we work together in this project with animation, but uh, we have, of course, our products, uh, different things, you know. But yes, I like to, to work with him because he's a, a good friend. Awesome. And I first, I, there, there's there's a lot I want to say, and I'm trying to decide what how, how I go first. Um, so for those who are interested in what you just performed. Just so we can let them know, I have links for everything in, in, in my description box. But what is the name of that effect? So if people want to go look that up and pick that up. This? Yeah, because everybody wants a picture of me in their house. Uh, so. <laughs> that trick <laughs> that, that trick's called uh, Instant Artist. Instant Artist. Instant Artist. And there is, a, there is a link in the description box for that if you guys want to go check that out on Penguin. Excellent. Thank you for showing me that. And I'm, I'm very flattered. I... I I, could you could you scan a copy and email it to me? I'd love to have oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm flattered. That look at that. Wow, he's so he's so good looking. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, yeah he's, he's we're a and we're and we're getting. I'm getting comments and people going. That was awesome. They love that. So that was cool. Thank you. Wow. And it's it, what I like about it is it's so personal too. I mean, it's it, it, that's something you really want to impress a client, or you have a birthday kid if that's what you're if you do magic for 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 children. That's an amazing, amazing trick to be able to do. Uh, wow, I can imagine doing that at a at a like I uh, like a corporate event, and like you have you want to introduce the the CEO of the company up or the president or something, and do something like that. That would be not only an amazing keepsake, but something super personal and uh, just, wow, that's, that's a very cool trick. And it also appeals to, you know, the egos of the people who, <laughs> who, you, who you've drawn. So that's beautiful, it beautiful. For my, yeah, for my virtual shows, it works very nice, very good. That's excellent. Yes, I have one. And it's oh, yeah. Good have Mago, one. yes. I keep calling you Mago. I know it's magic in, in, in Spanish, but uh, Nox, Nox, Mago Nox. I would love to see something. <laughs> yes, hey, the, the best thing about this effect is uh, is that it can be customized. 
and this is the, the better part. ¿Se me escucha o no se me escucha? Estoy hablando solo. Sí, creo. ¿Alan? Sí. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want? Uh, did you want to? Did you want to do something for us, uh, Knox? Did I catch that correctly? Or? Uh, well, uh, yes. I, I have a, a, a one trick. This is a skate ring. I, I am prepared to set up because this is the only. This effect is only the social media. Yes. Uh, you can see me? Yes. I can see you. Yes. Well, yep. Oh, here. Let me um, before you before you do anything. Let me let me pull you up so I can. Okay. Perfect. I want to make sure everybody can see you very well. Okay. Ahí está. El anillo. Una, dos, one, two. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Yes. Wow. This is our escape ring. Wow. That was that was beautiful. What's what's the name of that effect? Uh, what? Uh, is that that's an effect that you created? Yes, yes. I, this is me my creation. Uh what what is it called for those who want to find it? Escape ring. Escape ring. Ex escape ring. And that's you sent me a link for that too. That should be in the description as well. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So if you guys want to go check those out, please, please go do. Uh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm Maria is uh, Maria Elena Lores says kudos, Alan. You are so lucky to have such an awesome magician. Yes, I, I, I am very lucky to have them both on, and I'm, I'm so grateful for, for both of you for, for taking the time to come talk with us. So thank you very much. I, I should mention that um, they have been extremely generous. They messaged me like um, shortly before the stream was going to happen. They, they asked, they said, um, would it be okay or would you be interested in allowing us to do a giveaway of Bandimation? Right, it's a it's a download on on Penguin, so it's something that somebody is going to win tonight, and be able to go get the download code and and learn it, which is awesome. And I thought that was so amazing of them. So, but thank you both very much for that very generous offer. I really appreciate that, and I know my audience does too. Nice. Then we will perform it, but <gasps> oh, not yet. You, oh, okay. Oh, I'm really excited about that too. Okay, great. That's excellent. So, uh, I I. Don't know how I'm going to do this yet. What I'd like to do is, um, I'm. I think I'd like to do it just by by picking a number in my. I'm going to write a number down, okay. And then the first person to get the correct number, it's going to be a number between one and twenty, or unos in uh, 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 veinte, 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 veinte. Good. Okay. Um, okay, so the first person to put in the chat box the number that I selected will win. So it's a number between one, uno, and vente, one and 20. The first person in the chat box to get it will, will win Bandimation. All right, and I'm just going to let, I, there's a little bit of a, a stream delay, so I'm going to let them, uh, let the chat have a moment to, uh, to catch up with us. I go, I go, I go faster than they can, so. <laughs> Excellent. And I'm going to just hold this here so I don't, I can't change my mind, okay? Okay, so big hands at 12. Just not, not a bad, not a bad guess. Not it, but not a bad guess. Mental Crash says seven. No, 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 not seven. Ten? No, not big hand. Oh, no. Let's see. Somebody's going to win it. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys can't guess the same number over and over again. That's not going to do anything for you. They're all, they're all punching in, but they're all punching in seven. <laughs> 
Because I think they're trying to, they're going for like three and seven. I think they're trying to, th- they think I'm going for a, a mentalist uh, thing here. I'm not. I picked something that specifically would not be that. Somebody's going to get it. They're all working hard. They're trying really hard here. I feel like I should have got um, like one of the, like um, like a mental epic board. <laughs> that I could just put whatever I wanted to on it. <laughs> Man, they're they're all they're all going crazy with this. So thank you. <laughs> um, well, Dominic Quinto says one five six one six five one. That's no. <laughs> oh, Mago! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we have a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. Um, Mago Blink. Mago Blink <laughs> said <laughs> said nineteen. It was 19. Wow. 19. I wrote it down so you guys know I was being fair there, okay? Nice. So there it is. Thank you all so very much for playing, and thank you so to Luis and Knox for, for such a generous offer. Uh, if you will please email me at uh, Alan, and I'll, I'll actually leave it in the chat here so you guys can do that. Um, do, 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 do. It would be helpful if I could pull up my internet browser to send that. And I will. Okay, so I will leave a, a link to my uh, email, and then please email me, and I will make sure to get you uh, in touch with the with the um, code. Okay, okay. So this is whenever it wants to let me do it. It's alanpaletti at gmail dot com. Congrats to to Mago Blink. Awesome. Well done. Well done. So please, uh, Mago Blink, please uh, email me there, and I will make sure that you get the, the code for that, okay? And thank you guys very much for such a generous offer. I, I really appreciate you doing that. That's so cool. So I, you said you wanted to perform it. Is that something I could, uh, I, I could ask you guys to do? I have one trick, one of my favorite tricks. I would love to see it. Yes, please. Oh, nice. This is what we do here. <laughs> okay. All right. nice. Um, full screen. Full screen. Boom. There you go. You get all the screen, hey. Luis. All the screen. Um, you know, I, I, I'm trying to be a good artist. I'm not yet, but I'm trying. So, and one of the things I was trying uh, was playing with these things. Mm. Oh, but n- not the normal way, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Normal way is to open it and, you know, put it uh, with your milk and, you know. I am trying to do different things with this. Maybe um, kind of the world. This is the world, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I see it. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but but I can do it better. I can do it better. Okay, uh, okay. I will try. But then, then. Uh, but first, I need to. I need you to say a number. Oh, I have these beautiful cards with some. Oh, that's Pikachu. Some, uh, yeah. Bullets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pikachu. Pikachu. Um, the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Ooh. Freddy Krueger. Yeah. He's my nephew. Batman. Batman. Spider Man. Well, a lot. Okay. A lot. Oh, a lot. Yeah, a whole bunch I, of them. I want you to say a number between one and ten. Uh, um, six. Six. C. Si. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Looks like six to me. Uh huh. Now, take a look. I don't want to see. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I got it. Really? Okay. Yeah. Now, I will try. I'm really excited. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> With magic is better. Watch. 
Oh, <laughs> that was cool. That's that is a cool trick. Wow. Wow. That was, I'm I'm I I I'm not going to clap into the microphone, but I bet yeah. <laughs> By the yeah, I, because I'm, if you perform this in your show, nobody says anything. You're eating in in the middle of your show, you know. And and, and and nobody says <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that was that's excellent. Yeah, no, I'm getting a bunch of comments too. Going, wow, that's awesome. That's cool. That's an amazing effect. That is cool. What is that one called? This is Frosty. 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 Yeah. Right on. I, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, that yeah that one. I is is one of my favorite tricks. Um, in in my show, I use it a lot, and it's perfect for kids and also for adults. It's nice. That's amazing. Or not, my friend it knocks. <laughs> it works. Yes, yes. It's it so works. Good. Yeah, I work. I work <laughs> with um, Alex Aparicio with this project. And wow. It's a nice, nice trick. I um, I'm trying to put it on 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 the market, but we have a little problem. Um, but we're we're fixing the, the little problem, and then you will you will find it in your magic stores. I hope. Maybe Penguin Magic. Maybe Penguin Magic, yes, because okay. my my friends with Penguin Magic are very nice. And, yeah, yeah, I've I worked with uh, with Kevin Raylick over there. Very soon, you, very soon. Excellent! Wow, that's I then I and I will definitely give uh, give you guys the audience here a, a uh, an update whenever that goes live. Okay, that's a, that's crazy. I love that. Yeah, everybody loves that effect. That's super cool. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I want to make sure before uh, before we start to to wind down a little bit, I want to I want to see if anybody has a question for for either Luis or, or uh, Knox. I want to make sure you guys uh, it's Q and A, so I want to let you guys. I I don't want to monopolize all their time. I want to let you guys uh, be able to talk to them too. So in the meantime, I want to pull up this because I have some more questions for you guys. This is something I, I, uh, I alluded to earlier, Knox, um, about whenever uh, you create magic and what audience you have in mind whenever you do that, at least from, from the perspective of who you, you want to purchase your products or who, who you want to make them available to. And there are just some decisions that it seems to me you would have to make about if you would create them for exclusively a Spanish speaking audience, or if you would do that for an English speaking audience or, uh, or, or a French or a German or whatever, how, what's, what's your thought process whenever you're creating effects and w how you're trying to market those to, to the world? Well, I, I believe that, uh, Luis, help me please. Uh, yeah. Yo creo que, que cuando hacemos los efectos, eh, Luis y yo, creo que eh, mucha gente eh, lo hace para que sea de manera universal, ¿no? Para que, no, para que lo pueda usar cualquiera y, ese, y no tenga ningún problema con el idioma, digamos. Siempre tratamos de llegar a eso, que es un poco más difícil, pero creo que es la meta ideal, ¿no? Ok, I think the, the idea is to put it on the international market, so we're trying to make it uh, easy to, to understand um, no, it doesn't matter the the language. I see. So okay. I, I saw uh, one of the Knox uh, videos, and he's very clever when when he's playing the tricks uh, with some music and showing very very slowly the the techniques. Yes, and only that video. Very simple and very easy to to know. Yeah. In my case, I. I'm trying to say my my Spanish in English, and my English is, is not good, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, I'm doing my best <laughs> in the process. Yeah. So I, I have a, a, a mental history. Uh, if if you if you want, I, I show you. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Yeah, can we do that? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. but uh, Luis, you you can. Yo, tú me tienes que ayudar porque eh, con el idioma para la traducción. I can try yeah. speak, but well, eh, I have a, a super eh, envelope, yes, with yeah. emojis. I, I know all of those. Eh, I want 
I want, eh, quiero que pienses en, en cualquiera de los emojis que saca. I want you think in, yeah, in a one emoji in this. Okay, in I'm, this thinking, I'm, I'm thinking of one. Yes, okay. I have, I have one in mind. Uh, remember, remember the emoji? Uh, sí. I need only you say uh, yes or no if your emoji is, is in these cards. Okay. Uh, I show you and you only say me yes or no. Your emoji is here. Uh, would you bring it back from the screen just a, just a little bit? Uh, no, it's not in that one. Okay. And we have a little bit of a delay, uh, Knox. We have a little bit of a delay on your video. So if it takes me a second to respond, it's just because I'm waiting for the video to catch up, okay? Okay. Uh, no, it's not in that one either. Okay. Here? Si. Sí. Yes. Okay. And. No. No? No, not in that one either. No. Nope. No. No. Okay. Only in, in this. Si. Sí. Okay. I have this uh, iPad and make a zoom your your emoji. Okay? Okay. So, well, now uh, you can uh, dile que me puede decir ahora si cuál era su emoji. Yeah, can you tell uh, the emoji you choose? It's my favorite emoji of all time. It's the millennial emoji. Me with the smile, with the laughing, crying eyes. Well, <laughs> one, two, ah, there it is. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite emoji. I use it every day. <laughs> That's a, a, a universal trick because you don't... You don't need uh, language for that, yeah. That's, yes. that's very cool. That's, I mean, that opens up your audience to anybody. That's something, that's something we talk about on the channel a lot, too, is I, I want, um, you know, I design uh, my routines and, and magic um, so that, like, if I, I meet somebody who is blind or deaf, that you can still do magic for them. And, uh, you know, or in, in this case, maybe not speak the same language. We, we, there, there are universal things throughout human experience that it doesn't matter what language you speak. That's a perfect example. The, the crying the emoji, everybody knows emoji. Everybody uses them all day, every day. Yes. And all you have to do yes, is, is say yes or no. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. That's super cool. Is that, is that, uh, is that effect available for sale? Uh, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's, no, um, no, not yet. Not yet, yes, not yet. I idea uh, with a friend. Y bueno, es una idea que está, estoy trabajando con un amigo, eh, yeah, pero no, no sale right. la gente. También coming soon. Too. Coming soon, yeah. That's awesome. You guys are going to have to, you, all, you guys are going to have to come back. Because <laughs> there's, there, there's so much cool stuff. I, I was, I, I'm, I feel very lucky to, to have brought you guys on. It's, it's uh, wow. We got a magic. We got magic shows and got to see a bunch of cool, uh, unique material. It's amazing. Yes. Thank you guys. Oh, th thanks to you for invitation. How do you say invitar? <laughs> or invite us? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, it's my pleasure. Really. Uh, I, I do have some questions. Uh, there's a question on uh, from Big Hands about the best advice uh, for double lifts. This is something that uh, I know that, that Big Hands works on a lot, and uh, would love well, love your thoughts on the double lift. ¿Qué dijo Olichín? Me perdí con el doble lift. Tus pensamientos acerca del doble lift, del doble volte. With with uh, uh, oh. carte car car de jouer. No, that's French. I'm sorry. I suck. Uh, <laughs> um, with with playing cards. Yes, I, I know. Bueno, no sé, a ver si, si se lo puedes traducir. Yo creo que el, el doble lift es una de las cosas que nos enseña que algo tan simple puede ser muy estudiada y, y hay que trabajarlo bastante para que en verdad 
se sienta lo que se tenga que sentir. No sé cómo decirlo. Yeah, it's, uh, it's simple, but it's one of our best uh, weapons to, to fight in, in, this, um, in this world. But you have to, of course, um, practice it and make it natur natural. Uh, the double lift is very powerful, but we, we have to work on it, you know. Fair enough, just, just uh, like anything yeah, else in uh, magic. Yeah, I think, yes. Um, I, I don't remember who, but I was um, looking at a video and a very old man talk about double lift and what's the way a, a normal people, a lay layman, uh, <laughs> turn a card, you know, and something like this. The most is you know it's so easy so simple just turn it like this and this is uh, the way a normal guy turn a card you know or two cards at, at one because sometimes we are trying to make the best uh, extreme mm -hmm, double mm -hmm. lift and <laughs> it doesn't matter you know so <laughs> and I. Yeah. I would, I would agree I, with you on that 100%. I think that, um, you know, uh, and, I, and, and I love, I love uh, cardistry as an art form, and it, it just always amazes me. But I really think of it as different. I think of cardistry as juggling. Yeah. And so, you know, magicians who are trying to incorporate cardistry is fine, but, like, you have to decide, are you a magician or are you a cardist? A magician the magic should look like it comes naturally and without without necessarily very much skill. It's just magic. Whereas if you... This is something Di Vernon would talk about a lot, was do you want to be, um, you know, if you're fast with your hands and everything, are you actually a magician or are you just a trickster, you know? So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, let me... Uh, if you give me a moment, I'm going to... <laughs> we have... We have extra people on the stream. I would like to. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's closed out. Okay. <laughs> Bless him. <That's> fine. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, uh, uh, I, uh, next time what I'll have is we, I've learned a lot of lessons from this experience about uh, how to make it easier to join Discord so we can do this. And also um, maybe having a private room that we can have <laughs> so we don't have people interrupting. Uh, no offense, thank. You. I mean, I'm I'm glad he was uh, he he wanted to be in, but uh, wanted to keep this uh, lounge open or just just for us for the stream. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I think I think um, yes, uh, naturalness. And if you were really magic, you wouldn't necessarily be doing all these crazy movements and things with your hands. You would just look like a normal guy, and magical things were happening around you. And so I, I have to agree with you big time there, Luis. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, oh, I would love, I would love to see it. Let's show them what they've won, guys. <laughs> and who, who will be performing it? With uh, Knox or uh, Luis? Who's who's performing it? So I know oh, who's going to open. Luis, okay. Please. please. <laughs> <laughs> because your your English is, is better is better. All right, okay. Well, I'll well, allow Luis. Si hago un si deseas hago hago un preámbulo un preámbulo de ligas, ¿no? No, I I think I'm almost ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay. If okay, you're if you're not, okay. I can give you a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. Um, but 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 it's very important to say um that in, in, in this kind of streaming sessions, uh, we have some little delay. Right, so That's, let's try, we will. Let's, let's try, I will do it as slow as possible. But... Okay, so Alan, please tell me, stop. Stop. Here, here. Please. Yes. Yes, okay, here. Please. Uh, let's put your car here so you will see. 
And now I want you to check this band. <laughs> I'm pretending. I'm pretending. But yes, they look. They. Yeah. I was gonna reach through the screen and pull it. That would be. We should work on that one, Luis. But <laughs> those look. They look legitimate to me. Yes. So now let's put it here on top of this. Uh, this card. So you can see. Yes, we're having a little bit of. Here. Yeah, there you go. We have a little bit of uh, okay. glare from the from the light, so it takes a second for your camera to adjust. Now, Oh, but sorry, because I don't show the card to you. So. Oh, yeah. I need to know what the card is, Luis. Sorry. Can you see okay. the card? Okay. I got it. I got it. Don't, don't forget the card, please. Don't forget it. Okay. Good. Now, let's try to, to do this. So, can you see the card and the, and the bands? Yes. Yes, because I I want you to look at this very very. Good. Wow! <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Some things happen. Oh, your card is the eight of hearts. It is the eight of hearts. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. But of course, it was an illusion because the bands are just. The normal pair of bands and we'll keep it so you can keep it if you want you know i can give this to you in real performance you you that's keep the bands you can keep everything <laughs> that is so cool and that's something that you corrected me on because i um I, I thought maybe you can't necessarily perform this in person but you totally can yeah you can you can do it and that's that 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 I mean that changes the game too because I mean like you know Instagram magic is I mean it's it's coming out it's big there's the reason people I, you know I actually have an argument and that's for a separate video for later about why I think that uh, there might be something to Instagram magic but that'll be that's for another time but um, yeah it's it it is a popular thing and I'm like well if you just do it there that's probably okay or in virtual shows but no you do this you could do this a person which totally like elevates it to an entirely different level so it's awesome and i like i like that it's um it, it's one of those perfect effects that is a transition between uh you know props right so like how do you smoothly get into from coin magic to card magic or from card magic to rubber band magic you have a perfect transition with this hmm. so i love that sounds great no, so, sounds great Beautiful. Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, I know. I thought of that. Una buena manera de integrar un truco con cartas y un truco con ligas para hacer una transición entre trucos, dices, ¿no? O sea, podrías entrar de una cosa a la otra y te queda súper. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, people are loving it. They're all going, that's so cool, amazing, that's awesome. Great. Mira, hay que mandar saludos a la gente de Perú. Está Corey, Alexis, Blink. Sí que sí, Michael, Alex San Michael. <laughs> Michael. Ahí unos Hi. saludos para Hi. Ruby Magicians. My master is there. Metal Crush. One of my masters. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Corey. That's so cool. Yes. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. So so I would, I would uh before before we go, I would like to make sure that we uh say a huge thank you to both Luis and Knox for coming out, taking some time out of their, their days. They're very busy and coming to us all the way from like halfway across the world. So th to come all the way here just to talk with us, thank you very much for your time. You've been very generous. Uh, don't forget, uh, uh, Mago Blink, email me at alan at paletti at gmail.com so that way I can get you your free copy of Bandimation. Thank you for giving that to us, guys. So cool. And I would I would like to extend the invitation to have you guys back sometime if you'd like to come back. Yeah, it will be great. Don't Thank you. Yes. Thank you both so very much. It was a it was a pleasure getting to spend some time with you tonight. It was our pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure, you, pleasure is all mine. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Bye everybody. Bye. So there you have it. What an amazing time we all had. We had, we had Luis Zavaleta and Mago Knox on 
giving you the giving you the work. They they surprised me and, and gave us a whole thing on. Uh, I was I did I didn't know I was to expect magic, which I was really excited by. I'm really glad that they did that. Thank you guys. They they went above and beyond, um, and I and and the giveaway. Wow, thank you guys. So cool. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. It helps me with that little algorithm thing. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do interviews like this on the regular, and so if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, you do well to, to subscribe. That way you get notified of when those happen. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I had an amazing time with each and every one of you, and I look forward to seeing you really soon. Y'all have a good night, okay? Cheers.